So it took it to the second quarter, but my man finally got his first positive yard of the game, and I'm going to make him pay for it. A week it. ago! Woo! <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable mud coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another defensive gameplay video for you guys today, and I wanted to show you guys uh, what I think is one of the hardest defenses to play against uh, in the game. I mean, it's so dominant now, I'm literally holding people to negative yards, which you're going to see in this video today. So, before I get into that, let's go and let's look at my team real quick. Let's look at my setup because my setup and my abilities have changed a little bit. I'm still using Acrobat and Mid Zone KO on my two outside cornerbacks and my strong safety, but I realize that I typically use my free safety, so there's no reason to have uh, attributes on the guy that I'm using. So I took that off and I went ahead and I switched that up. I went ahead and I put strip specialist on my outside linebacker that typically gets the most pressure. And then I went ahead and I put double or nothing on the other outside linebacker that typically gets blocked. Uh, because this play pressure typically comes from two different areas. So it also comes in the middle linebacker a lot. So I could also put, uh, I actually tried that for a little while, I put strip specialist on my middle linebacker as well. But ultimately, I feel like this is probably the best setup to get as many uh, sack fumbles as you can, which I'm going to get a lot. Now, before I get into this video, as always, if you want to get your mutt team up like mine, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP.com. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Now, getting straight into the gameplay, my first victim rocking the all Vikings theme team. I got to be honest, I always see just Raiders and uh, 49ers over and over and over. It's cool to see some uh, unique theme teams in these gameplays. So, got the full Vikings setup, Vikings jerseys, Vikings state. The play that I'm going to be running is a play that I've already put out several times. I'm really just trying to put out more stuff to normalize it because I get a lot of naysayers in the comments that say, wow, that wouldn't work. The flats are open, yada, yada, yada. You could do this, you could do that. I'm going to show you these guys that I'm playing against here. They're all going to pretty much do the exact same thing, and I'm going to shut down just about everything they throw at me. Uh, but without a doubt, this to me is one of the most overpowered defenses that you can run, and it's pretty much the only defense that I run now. I don't really run anything else. The setup's incredibly easy. All you have to do is pinch the defensive line. I also slant them out and blitz all the linebackers. That's pretty much it. The only adjustment I make other than that is I blitz my user because it just makes it, uh, you know, you guys don't know by now, it just takes away the change of direction penalty. So that's pretty much it. We're going to get some crazy heat here. I'll make a couple of other adjustments uh, throughout the gameplay that I'll show you guys. But for the most part, this is all there really is. On the first play, my opponent's going to try to run around it, which is something that a lot of people do. Nope. But a lot of people try to run outside runs. You can see right there, it didn't work out very well. On the next play, he tries to run a draw. Nope. Um, I mean, that's another thing a lot of people are going to try to do. The draws, screens, stuff like that typically have success against heavy blitzes. But you can see my opponent's having no success as on the first three plays. A week ago! Woo! Basically just three and outs right off the bat. First series on offense doesn't work out too good. This was back when I was trying to record some footage with uh, Tyree Kill at running back, and it just didn't work out too good in this very first series. You know, I typically have a lot of success with these formations, but on the first drive, my opponent does a pretty good job of shutting it down. Gets me to third and six. I'm going to go with one of my favorite passing plays in this entire book, and that's the PA counter waggle. It's a similar concept I'm going to use in a couple different formations, but all I really have to do is streak the A route here, and these crossing routes typically get open. Uh, either the B route right away or the Y route further down the play. Now, it's third and six. He knows that I have to get six yards, so he kind of just hangs out and waits for the crosser, which is a good move, but he leaves the Y route wide open. And what? and I just get a throw on the run, inaccurate bullet pass. So I decided to go for it, I go for my cross drag play, try to hit the tight end here. Yeah. And then basically I give the ball right back at the 35. So my opponent hasn't done a thing and he's right in scoring range, but this blitz is a weapon. So on the very next series, he's trying to run outside again, which I guess a lot of people will do. I've noticed people have basically seen this play enough that they all kind of have their own version of what they think works against it, uh, but nothing really works against it. That's the whole point. On the next play, you can see the pressure's coming in so relentlessly. The ball's just getting knocked around the line. You're going to see that a lot as well. And my opponent's already on a third and 15. <laughs> and on the next play, he gets hit again. So he actually punts the ball away because he hasn't done a thing. What a pussy. As he pins me against my own goal line, so I guess he thought this was going to be a defensive struggle. So in the next offensive series, we're going to go it a little bit safe. We're going to hit him with some run plays out of the pistol week. The halfback zone week and the triple option are two of the better run plays in this entire book. I will have links in the description for all the offenses that I use in this video today. So if you want to check that out, you want to run the plays like I am, check them out. Link in the description below or you can get the full ebook. 
also linked in the description below. Now when I come to the line, it's a simple read. My opponent here, he's spread too far. He's in too small of a defense. We're going to hit him with the halfback zone weak. You can see we only have to make one guy miss. Hosty! He could go all the way. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging, oh. So we go ahead up 7 nothing. My opponent's still trying to run outside, but he's having a couple of problems. Oh, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. As his own linemen are pretty much blowing up the run plays for me, but a lot of that's pressure-based. Then on the next play, comes out an empty backfield. I had people in the comments of the original video saying that if you come out an empty backfield, it can give it problems. I don't think that's a good move. I mean, at the very least, I'm sending six, so you probably need an additional blocker. On his first play, it looks like he's trying to bait me with a hitch. A week ago, woo! Y'all want to see that body? Uh, I swear to you, the next play, I was like, watch this guy try to hit me with a streak. Looked like he was trying to set that up. Because that's what most people do. They try to beat your user, and on the very next play, gotcha, we're bitch. coming away with an interception. So, third and 16, he's already thrown it up. We're basically in field goal range already, but we're going to go for more than that. So, back to the Pistol Week series. The next play we're going to run, we're going to go to that triple option play. This was the original play that I wanted to run, but it's based off of the look. All you have to do is hold A. You can see right here, we get outside very easily, and the blocking is just super stiff is we score a touchdown two carries two touchdowns two long touchdown runs and we're up 14 nothing just like that then back on offense this guy obviously is a runner it's not necessarily working out but hey guys look second and nine the game is yours! all right no i don't want them to gain another yard and if they cross the line of scrimmage i'm gonna take every last one of you out you blitz all night you want to make yourself comfortable down there. So it took it to the second quarter, but my man finally got his first positive yard of the game, and I'm going to make a pay for oh, it. Go. Woo. On the next play, we're just setting the house one more time. Then he's going to come out in an empty backfield look. He's going to test my user one more time on 4th and 12. Gotcha, bitch. And you better believe that was a mistake. I mean, people will typically bullet pass because of the pressure, so a lot of times when you run this defense, you have to play underneath. As you can see right there, it definitely pays off. And we're going to go ahead and seal the deal and end the game early in the second. But you can see, I mean, I knew that I was clobbering him, so I went to the yardage. You can see he had negative 16 total yards of offense to this point. You make sure they remember so next up, my next victim, I mean opponent, he's basically got the same top three cards that I do, except I, you know, he's got Jerry Rice and I got Ladarius Sneed. I mean, there's not really much of a difference from the looks of our teams. I'm going to be running uh, the pistol weak slot flex against this guy. I'm going to use the power option and the PA power option pass. This is another video I already put out. Link in the description below as well. Uh, on his first play, I mean, I pretty much see that he's in a cover three. So I switch over to the PA power option pass. That's all you really have to do. This is a very easy one play touchdown against cover three, just as long as you have a, a pretty fast tight end. And you can see right here, we just beat him right at the seam over the top. This is one of my favorite one-play touchdowns in the game right now. Nobody ever sees that coming. As you can see, he scores pretty quick. Then on the defensive side, we're going right back into that uh, defense. I'm not going to run anything else. This is all I'm going to run. I pretty much just put this out there. You can see on the very first play, though, he gets a couple of yards, so he's already doing better than my first opponent. Then on the next play, I mean, I pretty much just following these crossers. You just have to take that away. He almost had a second there. Gannon almost got loose to bomb it up over the top, but you can see, you just don't have time. Then on third and 17 I mean, on the next play he's got flats but when you're down third and 17 already what's the flag gonna do you're not gonna get a first down watch out watch out watch out watch out, watch out. Watch out. That's one of the things that makes his defense so successful. If you just get one sack, it's game over after that. We're going right back to that power option, go right back to that PA power option pass. And I noticed that a lot of people run commit against this particular run play. Now that this play is out there in the world, a lot of people pretty much just basically send the house on the next play. I don't know if he did that again, but we get one of the weirdest animations I've seen yet. Where this dude just goes ahead and he picks off, he intercepts the pitch. So I'm giving the ball right back as this dude makes a hell of a defensive play. But I don't care what mistakes I make on offense, this defense is a weapon you're gonna see right here i mean people just have no time to make decisions i mean there's guys open but you have to make a split second decision and it's, it's damn near impossible but this guy is having more success you can see right here he completes a pass on second and ten now he's in the third and one Dang. as we stone him coming right up the middle on an inside zone then on fourth and four i mean i know that he needs four yards so i make him think that i'm gonna follow this streak Fight. i drop right down this drag it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up and just like that, we're user lurking this straight to the house. And my opponent is going to head for the exits as well, down 14 0. Uh, his total yards, once again, negative 12. <laughs> 
People quit on this defense so fast, it almost feels like a coin making method, I swear to you. Like you literally could make a lot of coins just running this defense and cheesing people into early quits. So on the next game, we're going right back to that PA counter waggle. I love this play. I mean, it's just a huge play as we flip the field uh, with one easy completion. We're right in the red zone. So I'm going to show a red zone play that I've been showing in a lot of game plays. It's one of the best red zone plays in the game to me, the cross drag. This is something here that is one of my go-to plays in pretty much any money situation, but in a red zone play, I find that if you motion out this running back and put him on a slant number one most people don't follow this guy does follow which is fine i want people to pay attention to the crossers at the end of the day bottom line because the a route's my first read so if it's a cover two or a cover three which is what this looks like the a route's pretty much just going to be wide open right at the scene so that's pretty much the first read uh and then if they're man coverages i got a lot of crossers to basically beat those man coverages so back on the defensive side this defense one of the biggest issues i think people have with this defense maybe they get burnt once or twice and they just stop using it all together this is a defense you have to stick with even if you give up a touchdown or an easy score or whatever go right back to it stick with it you will be happy with the results as you can see on the second play of this game gotcha, bitch. i'm coming up with an easy interception this is you know this play pretty much results in a turnover or a sack probably half of the time half of the plays that i run it which if you can do that i mean you're not going to lose a lot of games when you're running this defense so on the next play we're going to hit him with the pa counter waggle again this time i have a two tight end set which is you know i'm just hoping that they bite on the run a little bit more uh, and sure enough, I do the exact same setup. Just streak this tight end, and I'm just watching the crossers. He does a pretty good job of taking that away, or at least with his adjustments. So I just playmaker this guy up. See ya! And we're just streaking right into the end zone for an easy touchdown. So up 14 nothing again. I think that's pretty much been the theme in pretty much all these game plays. And we're going right back to that blitz. Like I said, this blitz is so overpowered. Most people have no idea what to do. Tries to hit me with a screen, like I said earlier in the video. Nope. You would think a screen would do a pretty good job against a heavy blitz like this, but obviously there it did not. Then on second and 16, I mean, he's trying to beat him with slants another idea a lot of people would try to do no nope. that really doesn't work out too well for him either uh with slants beats cover four pretty good but i was all over it so then on third 19 the dude's in a hole i use a different safety this time he tries to beat me outside with the route i'm not even familiar with no nope. but i'm all over that with my user and then on fourth and 19 he's got to go for it i mean the game's pretty much already in the bag he probably knows he's already gonna quit and we just get a walking sack right up the center you're gonna make yourself comfortable down there Real close. This defense is so overpowered. I honestly feel bad running it sometimes. You can see I got another opponent quitting at negative 15 yards. Uh, but I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to win games. I'm here to give you guys tips on how to win games. So if you're not using this defense a lot, at the very least, you can mix it into your normal defenses. But without a doubt, to me, it should be a defense that people are running nonstop because it's that broken. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. You win. Perfect. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.